Today we are going to be creating a rotating animation with elements with scroll text on the side. I'm going to do a little extra extra on the end of this video with another technique. So stay tuned if you want to see a different way to do this. So let's get to it. So I'm doing this animation and video, but you can also do it in presentation. So the first thing I want to go and do is I'm going to change my background real quick. I'm going to grab this red, go over and grab my gradient. I'm going to change this pink one into oh, white, and I'm going to change the orientation. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my uploads and I'm going to find her. So you're going to take your, your main element and put it over here. And if you want to do anything special, like go over and add a quick shadow, you can do that then. And let's head out of that. And you're going to size her the way you want to size her. So the next thing I would do is I'm going to go over and I'm going to grab a circle. And I am going to position the circle where I kind of want to have my elements come out. So I kind of want to have them and you don't have to do this part, but I just feel like for me, it's a good way to make a little guide. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to grab that and I am going to change the color of this, make it black. What I'm going to do is I am going to just make a little teeny square and put them where I want my elements to kind of come out. So I want my elements to be it touching the square. So I'm going to go, we're going to, we're going to delete this afterwards, but I am just using it as a guide. So it kind of looks like I'm doing them all in the same spot for my, for myself. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, and you feel confident that you can kind of stick them in the right spots every time that is completely up to you. So I'm going to go into position. I'm going to hit my shift key, hold down my shift key, and I'm going to highlight these. I am going to group it together and then I'm going to move it behind her. So now when I have my elements come out, I can, I know I got to put them here, here and here. And then my last position will be over here where I pile them up. So now I want to go over my elements. I am going to go and I am going to grab one, two, three, four, five of these. I think only one of, I want them all white though. Let's make them white white, 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 is that one white? All right, you're already white and white. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to go into position, arrange, center. So now they're all together like so. I'm just going to grab them, reduce the size down to teeny, teeny, teeny. And I'm going to take those right there. And I'm not grouping them, so don't group them. And I'm going to go in, back into my layers and I am going to grab them and move them to the back. Now, it doesn't matter about your circle right here, because like I said, we're going to get rid of that at the end. So I am going to now, I'm not duplicating the page yet. Get a little ahead of myself, y'all. What we want to do is work on our text box. So what I want to do, I have five elements. What I need to do is get five different types of text. So I'm going to do it the cheat way. And then you're going to size your text, space it the way you want to. Um, I'm going to cheat and just grab like one of these one, two, and I'm going to group them as I go one, two, they might not be actually centered it up or anything. So please forgive me on that. Um, let's grab this one here. Group move up. Let's do sparkle. Let's sparkle y'all. Get a little shiny. Group. And then, oh, we need one more, right? One, two, three, four, and five. Uh, party. It's a sparkle party. It's a sparkle party. All right. And group. 
So we're going to wind up pulling this down. So I'm going to take my party and I'm going to one, two, because I need space so I can pull this off the page. Now, if you want to do the opposite and you want to pull it from the top, um, let's see. Let's just get some space there. I think I actually lost whatever was in that box, but that's that's neither here or there. This is, so now if you want if you want to go this way, you have space without losing your box and you have space on both ends. So now what we want to do is grab your intro. Let's grab a thank you for you guys coming and watching this tutorial. And when I so for this one, uh, you can go down. This one actually has a little bit of space, so you can probably not space that if you don't want to. But again, so oh, that's gonna get all jumbled. Let's undo that. That does not look cool. So here's the other thing we can do. We can make a pull tab on it. Let's make a pull tab. We'll just put a pull tab. We'll go and oh, mercy. Mercy, y'all. Group those two together. Take that and make it transparent. Now I have a pull tab and you can make it the size you want. You can also, if you want to, go sideways or down. Just whatever way you're going to bring your text. If you're going to bring it from the top or if you're going to bring it from the bottom. I would just do this the opposite way or just pull it this way. That will be a personal preference of y'all's. So now I have my initial slide set up or my initial page set up for a video, I am going to duplicate. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull my thank you off. I want to go ahead and go into my positions tab. I'm going to go over here and I am going to grab my first icon. I'm going to swing it around. Let's put this in the back so it's out of our way. And I am going to grab that. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. If you want to do anything fancy, like make some movement to it, you can do some swirl to it. If you want to, here's a personal preference. If you want to start bringing your first words down, you can. Or you can wait till your icon gets here to pull it down. That's going to be a personal preference. So I am just going to start my first word coming down. And what I'm going to do next. So I got my first one starting and my first word starting because you want your words to match right here, right? So we're going to go and duplicate this page and you can make your icons as big as you want. So I'm just doing it here. And then I'm going to do here. I'm going to straighten up. I'm going to move my party down here and I am going to grab my second icon. Give it a little bit of a twirl, make it a little bit bigger. Second one done. Duplicate the page, bring your text down, bring your icon over to the next spot. So when it gets to this spot, what you want to do is take it and put it at the top. So we're going to drag it over here in the positions tabs to the top. So it's in front of here. And I gave it a little bit of a swirl and See, that's why I made the black boxes. So I knew every time where I wanted to take the next one. So, and then I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to move it here. I'm going to straighten it up. I am going to go and grab my next icon that I'm going to use. Spin it around a little bit. Make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to drop it down. And then we're going to our next one. So all you're doing is move text. I think I'm doing that a little jumbly. So if it looks stumbly, I'm sorry. So move text, move your bottom icon, move the next one down, move that one up top in your positions tab, in your layers tab. Yep. Move that icon, your next icon down to the center. Straighten it up. Put it in your position, grab the next one that's going to come out, grab it over, make it a little bit bigger. If you want it to spin, spin, spin whatever way you want to spin it. 
You can move this one over a little bit. And then just keep doing that. Duplicate down to your next text. Move over. Move over. Move up in your Layers tab. Uh, grab here. Move. Straighten up. Grab the next one and bring it out. Make it bigger if you want to. Spin it around. Pick whatever size you want to do it. And there we go. And then we're going to go duplicate this page. Bring that down like so. We're going to move our microphone over. We're going to move our search icon down. Oh, we're going to move our search icon to the top of our layers tab. We're going to bring our little mail thing over here. Straighten it up. Like so. Then we're going to duplicate the page. You're going to bring that down here. That here to the top. Now you can take your text down to here if you want to because that's where it's going. We can duplicate the page again. We're going to take this over here and you can move that off the page and that part is done. So that would be the animation. So what I'm going to do now is quickly go and grab these and I am going to trash them. I'm going to go and trash them. Oh man, I took her out, didn't I? And we're just going to go through it real quick and grab trash. Grab trash. Now you can kind of trash these as you go along, but just make sure you duplicate the page before you go back and um, trash these. Um, and a little trash. We'll go trash and go grab that and trash it. Now what we want to do is, you know me, we're going to go in between. We're going to hit that match and move up. We are going to turn it all the way up. We're going to apply it between all pages. And then this 2.5 looks good. Let's apply that to all pages. Let's try to do that again. 2.6, 2.5. And now we're going to play and see what we have. I feel like I should have made the icons bigger. They're kind of small on this one, but you see the technique that we were doing. And then if you wanted to pull your, um, if you just wanted to go in here, duplicate the page and then go back in, let's go back in our positions tab and grab that. Thank you. And bring it back up. So if you watched like the last couple of slides, when that goes down, you could have your thank you. Oh, my match and move didn't go there. Let's hit that uh, all pages. Hold on. And you can have that come back up. So what I was thinking for my other one. So this is the little extra one. So what I was thinking, and I don't know if I can really. Let's see if I can modify this, this one without going crazy. So I know for the next one, I don't want to do this page. So what I was thinking with the, the other one, the first page is going to be the same. These will be the same. This one would be the same. This one is going to be the same, except I was going to move this up. I'll move this up a little bit and I am going to go in a position and I am going to have that stay behind her. I want it to go behind. So what I'm going to do now is go here grab these and bring them back down behind her and move them let's grab that one and move it up behind there so i'm going to grab here 
I'm going to go back and take these. Let's just put her up top. That should, that should make it easier. Well, maybe. Put her up top. And I'm going to grab this one. Oh, no, I don't want that one. I want this one and put it up behind here. So my idea was to have these going behind. What is down here? This little Wi-Fi thing is down here. And having these go behind it and stay behind it instead. And we'll go and move her up top. Up top. I have a chihuahua moving all around me. So if you see anything make sudden jumps or moves, it's because she's done step on the keyboard. She's known for that. So, and then we'll get to this last one. I'm going to move her up top. And what I wanted to do with this is we'll take these. So what I would have done different is instead of having them come over and gather in the front, it, I would get them to all go behind her and keep them behind. So we're going to go and move those this way. I'm trying to cheat without doing the whole thing over again. And on this one, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to move her to the top, have all of them grab them real quick and put them up behind her. Now, once they all got behind that sign right there, what I want to do now is I'm going to duplicate the page. I am going to go grab my group of text. I am going to bring that up. I am going to shrink it down so you can see everything like so. So everything comes up. And then I was going to, my thought was to uh, grab the icons that match. Now I'm not sure these are the, the same icons that match in the same way. So, but if you're using, you're, you're going to know what, what goes with what, when you're doing it and have them come out like, that so let's play that and see what that looks like now we're this is live i have not tested doing this so we're just going to see what it looks like let me change the timing on these two let's take the timing down a little bit and change it here and make sure all our matching moves the same this chihuahua anybody want to borrow a chihuahua for a little bit this one's driving me bananas okay Ready? Let's see what we got. So when we go, we're going to have, it's going to look the same. And then when it gets down to this part, it's going to change. They're going to go behind here like so. Which I think so far, I like that a little bit better. And then it's going to, they're going to come up and go and match, and match over here. I don't know. I kind of like that a little bit better. What's y'all's opinion? Leave it down in the comments. But for that, that's how you do it. That's how it's done. It's 1120 at night. I do these things late at night, y'all. But you know what? I love you guys. Thank you so much. And thanks for the person that wanted me to deconstruct this and reconstruct this uh, video for them. I love you guys. I will see you on the next one. Um, it is almost Easter. So, y'all are Easter Bunny Peas. Thank you, Easter Bunny. Bok, bok. Bye, y'all.